Hey guys, welcome here. My name is Weston. I'm with Synced Up, and um, thanks for downloading this job costing spreadsheet. Uh, our goal with this spreadsheet is to help educate and to give you tools and resources to be able to do something like job costing on your own. Um, and ultimately, if you are tired of messing with spreadsheets, uh, check out Synced Up for an automated version of it. You just put everything into uh, a system and a process. But anyway, um, this spreadsheet serves the purpose in allowing you to job cost your work. And the, you can see that this spreadsheet has four different tabs. So we have uh, building your budget, build your estimate, then enter your actual costs, and then your job costing report. And these other sheets are in here. It's kind of this, this spreadsheet's actually a bit deeper than just a simple um, job cost report. And the reason is, is we're also looking at overhead recovered and your break even on the jobs. And so what, the way it starts is you enter your company's numbers first on the building your budget spreadsheet. And what I mean by that is you just fill out these five values here, or I'm sorry, six values. And so we'll start with like, I have already have this populated. So it's like we're saying, hey, we have a million and a half in sales in our company. Our labor um, cost is 200 grand a year. And there's instructions here in these uh, in each of these fields to show you exactly what we're looking for in these in these fields. Uh, your material costs, like your cost of goods for jobs that you sell. Uh, your equipment costs, which equipment could be in your overhead, so that's why it's zero here. Um, your subcontractor costs and your overhead costs. Overhead costs are anything like often like an owner's salary would be in there. Uh, some people dump all of their equipment into overhead so they don't bill for it a la carte by the hour. Um, and then anything, any costs like insurances, taxes, trucks, anything to keep the lights on all gets dumped into here. And we're looking for the annual number. And you, if you don't have the exact and educated guess, it's good enough. So anyway, then once you have all of these numbers, it'll tell you uh, your total cost of goods, your estimated gross profit in a, in a year, and your estimated net profit in a year. And then what we do is we ask you in this overhead recovery multiplier column, where do you want to recover your overhead expenses? These $441,000, where do you want to recover them? And we suggest recovering the majority, if not all of them, on labor for most companies. But in this example, um, we have a, a portion of it being recovered on your material costs and the rest of it on labor. And then what that does is it generates, so I can, I can edit this field and say, well, maybe I just want 25%. And then it'll automatically adjust the overhead recovery multiplier on labor. So that labor one is not editable. It's basically you can choose how much overhead you want to recover on these categories here, and the rest gets dumped onto labor. And then um, this is automatically populated with your net profit value. So basically, you have these costs. You are going to have to mark up by, an eight, by a net, uh, net profit margin of that value to achieve your 1.5 million in sales. So. You can come in here and say, well, I want to do 20% or whatever. That's fine. Um, and we just put up here like the suggested profit margin. So once you have this filled out, then the rest is easy. So because we now can go and build your estimate and we can, you can enter your hard material costs. Like there's, we have a, a spreadsheet here with three work areas and maybe you're only doing a single work area. So you can just zero all these out. That's fine. Um, and if you, what you want to do is in each work area, let's say you have a patio, some lighting, and some landscaping that you're proposing to do for a customer, you're going to want to enter your hard costs, what you are paying for your materials in this field. Then you want to enter in how many man hours you estimate it's going to take. And you want to set your average cost per hour in this field here so that we know how to apply that to a dollar amount. And then your equipment costs, if you need to rent anything, and your subcontractor costs in case you have a subcontractor. And then that will, you can also manipulate the profit margin here on an individual basis if you want, uh, in case you want to inflate or deflate any of these numbers. And then that will give you um, the final cost of the customer. So you've now produced an estimate. So you just go down here and fill out the four fields for each work area, and then that will give you the price per uh, work area and a total project price with an estimated gross profit and an estimated net profit. And then once you've actually gone and done the job, you want to flip over to the actual costs and you're going to get a um, basically the same four fields, except this time you're going to be adding up your receipts and you're going to plugging in what you actually spent. And uh, that may differ than what you estimated. 
it's like it, it's almost never the same. It's usually like you got more of something and less of another thing. So you plug in what you actually spent in material costs, all the receipts that applied to that job, and it'll tell you like, hey, you're, you spent 9.7% less than you estimated, great. Or you spent 28.5% more on labor than you estimated, that's not so great. Um, so here we show all your estimated costs from the previous sheet over here, and you plug in your actual costs, and it will go down through and give you a report on like how much behind or ahead you were in, in the real world, in actual. And then it'll show you what you estimated the price of the customer. And then here we give you the opportunity to, you can enter in um, what you actually billed the customer. Maybe you rounded it up or something, or I don't know. But you can come in here and enter in what you actually billed the customer instead of taking the default uh, value. Because sometimes things change and you had add-ons or whatever. And then this will give you an actual gross profit and an actual net profit. And then once you've um, entered the uh, this information, you can flip over to the job costing report and you have exactly um, all the details regarding this job and how you performed in it. You can see your estimated job price, your actual job price, your estimated gross profit and your actual gross profit, estimated and actual net profit, and your estimated and actual labor, materials, equipment, subcontracting, overhead recovery, uh, dollars of overhead recovery you've generated to cover those $441,000 of overhead in your business and your break even. So it's pretty amazing. Basically, what, what I suggest you do is in the beginning of the year, when you first start using the spreadsheet, figure these numbers out for the year. And then um, you can just create copies of this spreadsheet for each new job that you're estimating and job costing and leave this information intact because that's not going to change for a whole season. And just start at this sheet for every new job. So for every new job, you would just start at the sheet and plug in your estimated costs. Then when you're done doing the job, you plug in your actual costs, and that will give you your actual job cost report, just like that. And we set this spreadsheet up. Uh, our goal was to provide a free resource for people um, that maybe aren't necessarily ready to buy something like Synced Up, but need the tools to be able to job cost their work. So here it is. It's free. We uh, hope it's valuable to you. If you have any comments or questions on it, make sure you reach out to us in the chat box in the lower right corner of our website and um, we'll be happy to help you. And uh, whenever you're ready to um, begin implementing a tool like Synced Up, we're here for you then. So basically the concept of Synced Up is, you know, this information is dead accurate. It's, it's, uh, it's really, really powerful, very, very insightful. But the challenge in the real world with job costing is the diligence and discipline that's required to always come in here and update spreadsheets. And Synced Up does all of that completely automatically for you. On every single job, you get a completely automated job cost report. It's very, very uh, clean and seamless, does not require extracurricular effort. And um, the guys that are uh, in the program are, have been loving it, and it's really the only tool of its kind on the market. So we welcome you to try it. But until then, feel free to use this uh, spreadsheet for as long as it's valuable to you. And uh, we thank you for giving it a shot. Thanks, guys. Good luck.